as babysitters do we advertise safely and efficiently? Stay tuned. Hey sitters, welcome back to another video. I get asked this question a lot. Um, what does, what, how do I personally advertise? What does advertising even look like for a babysitter? How do we do it safely and efficiently? So I wanted to chat about that with you today. So my number one or the number one key aspect in all of this is safety. Um, and doing so, I found that using my resources is the best way to be safe when it comes to advertising. And what I mean by that is using my clients. Um, I have a client pool already, so why not have them do the work for me and refer my name? So I love when families refer my name to other clients or potential clients um, because it is going from a trustworthy family to what I could only think is another trustworthy family. I feel comfortable with um, working for a family that knows somebody else that I work with. Um, so that is the safety piece of it, is that it, it is not just somebody off of the street. Um, it is a family that knows one of my other families. Most of the time they end up knowing one or two of my families. So safety is key and by doing that is using the resources I already have. So the efficient side of that is that, again, you're using your clients, they're doing the work for you and you are saving time and money. Now, I have some clients who do not like spreading my name, who do not like giving my name out, who don't like sharing my name and number because they feel that um, if they share me, they will not have any time to book me or my schedule get too full to work for them. Um, so some of my clients don't like to share my name. And how I get past that or how, to I, how I incentivize them to share my name is a referral rewards um, system. So I, after a family shares my name like three or five times, I will give them a reward for referring my name. Um, and that can look anything like a couple hours of free babysitting, um, a gift card to the local coffee shop, um, maybe a gift card to their favorite restaurant, but just really giving them something and a handwritten note to say thank you I appreciate you helping me grow my business. So another way of advertising is through the um, Facebook pages, the local apps, through community posts. Um, so there are two two pages that I'm a part of on Facebook for my community and I have I'm on the neighborhood app. I'm also um, a part of a couple other things that are within the community so that I um, I monitor them daily. I make sure that if somebody's posting looking for a babysitter, I'm the first to jump on it. If I'm not the first, one of my clients are, and I really appreciate that as well. But I really try to stay on top of it and message, I comment on the post and I say, hey, I'm local, is it okay if I send you a private message? Because as a babysitter, I do not want to give my name, my information, anything like that out to those who are not potential clients. Um, I don't want that just out on the internet. So um, always making sure that you private message them and then give details within the message. Um, and then also we have some communities, some tight-knit communities and um, gated communities that also have a community newsletter and so you can contact whoever is in charge of that and ask if you can put a, a local ad in the paper about your babysitting. Um, again, when you put information on an ad that goes out to a lot of people, you wanna make sure that you're not putting any information that can, like if you're young on the younger side, make sure that it's your parents' phone number, you can put your email on there making sure you're not putting your address on there. You can put where you serve, what location you serve, um, but not your direct address. Nothing that somebody could come and find you if they really wanted to. So that is a great way for advertising as well. Another way you can advertise is by joining a babysitting website. Um, so just joining, making sure that you're monitoring that, um, that you're keeping updated with it, your bio is updated and filled with, ref not referrals, but um, what your, 
experience has been, your qualifications, everything like that, and keeping that updated, as well as making sure you're responding to people. Um, and then when you respond to them, if you can't babysit for them, you can say something along the lines of, I'm sorry I can't babysit for you right now, but if you'd like to take my number or my email, um, I hope I can help you out sometime again soon. So just making sure that you're not just completely cutting people out, but that you're saying that you would love to help them in the future. This may or may not be an option right now with COVID. It, um, maybe it's not allowed where you live or your age just doesn't allow it. But volunteering in schools, local schools, local elementary schools or daycares is a great option for advertising. Believe it or not, a lot of families go to these um, teachers or these daycare providers and ask if they know of anybody who babysits. Um, and so if I'm in the schools, I used to do this before the pandemic um, and my schedule allowed it. I went and volunteered and a lot of the kids started recognizing my face when I went and volunteered. A lot of the teachers started knowing who I was and what I do. Um, and so that they, they started spreading my name to families. Another way of advertising is just keeping top of mind of your current clients. So I've mentioned in previous videos that I send out birthday cards to all of my family's um, kids so that I am keeping in their minds throughout the year. So I had just recently sent out a birthday card to one of my long-term clients that I haven't babysat for in a while. And she sent me a text saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe you remembered her birthday and is it okay if I send your number and name to a friend of mine who is looking for some child care help? I said, absolutely, and guess what? Not only did I gain that client, but I've also put her on the calendar. So I, by keeping my name and my number and my, just keeping in my client's mind and showing up, I gained a new client that I might not have if I didn't send that birthday card. I may have never heard from them again, you know? So this last way of advertising, I don't mean to do it, um, but it just happens. So as you guys know, I love getting kids outside and playing. So we go to the local parks most of the time. And when I go, there's other families there with other children. And they like to, oh, in my community, a lot of people like to talk and just to see like who you are, what you're up to. So they strike up a conversation and within the conversation, they end up finding out that I am a babysitter. I own a business in the community. Um, I've been doing this for 10 plus years. They end up asking me about my schooling and my education and my certifications. So they end up wanting my number. But now we go back to the safety part, right? I just met these people. Yes, they're at the park. Yes, they're in the community, but that doesn't mean I really know them. So this all comes down to what I like to call the gut feeling. Um, if I feel like these people are good people, um, I will give my number out. Mind you, I am older. I've been doing this for a while. Um, so I do tend to give my number out. Um, but I have had gut feelings before. I also tend to watch the family and their children and their children's interaction with other kids um, because you can really tell by their behavior if they're a good family or not and then some people do have bad days but a, my gut feeling I just know whether or not I want to hand my number out um, so with that being said I do keep safety in mind when meeting other people at the park but that is a way I technically advertise is through the local parks again I don't mean to it just happens that way um, but I guess it is another means of advertising. With any babysitting job, even though I'm 23 years old, I do tell my mother where I'm going. I do like letting people know where I'm going to babysit, what's the address, um, what time I'm supposed to get off. If I don't get off at that time, I tend to text them to say, hey, it's a little longer, um, because I do really think safety is important. And I'm going into some stranger's home, especially the first time I babysit. Um, it can be a little nerve wracking. So I always make sure somebody knows where I'm at, when I'm supposed to be there, and when I'm supposed to technically be home, and if I'm running late, uh, just to cover my butt and that people know that I am somewhere, you know? So safety, efficiency while advertising is important. Um, but yeah, that's how I advertise.
If you guys have any more questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys so much. Go check me out on Instagram as well. I'll leave a link in the description to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.